let your emotion get in the way of what you really need to do, which is to drive success of the business. And so the minute you get your first customer, you now become number two. What will happen if you're successful? And you won't see it coming. You'll wake up one day and say, oh my goodness, I, I'm wealthy beyond my wildest dreams. You'll probably go right back to work, but the point is you created something of tremendous value. And the, and the way it manifests itself to you later in life is it, it gives you freedom to do whatever you want. No matter what sector you're in, whether you're doing real estate, whether you're working in the farm ag industry, whether you're working in retail distribution, it doesn't matter. It's always been about acquiring customers and then maintaining relationships with them. So after nine years and thousands of pitches, there's a lot to be learned about what to do right and what goes wrong and how you present your ideas to investors. I don't care whether you're you know, an entrepreneur, a leader, a politician. These lessons matter in terms of your ability to communicate to people. Number one, are you able to articulate the opportunity in 90 seconds or less? Number two, are you able to explain why you are the right person or team to execute on that opportunity? Good and bad investments, great successes, horrific failures. I now have an intuitive feeling about people and investments. And that is, I guess, what experience is. And, and, you know, I wish I had it 30 years ago, but the only way to get it is to make those mistakes in the first place. Anyways, thank you very much for your time. I've really enjoyed it. Take care.